All right, this is our 2014 Kindley camper for sale. Uh, this is the kitchen that we got with it. Um, we our water gauge is here. This is the control panel. Diesel hot water system, voltmeter. Um, we have got a BM Pro battery check connected to that as well. So we can see what volts are coming in, um, what state the battery is in, if it's discharging, charging. Just wait for that to load up. So 99%. Not charging at the moment, we've got 13.2 volts. And as you use um, things, it will, yeah, it will either be discharging or charging. Um, yes, so we have our pantry. Food in there, we've got some cooking utensils down there. Dual burner here, we have a grill under there, plus the lock burner there. Handy for those bigger saucepans. It'll come with a Evercool 95 litre fridge. That's it there. Uh, we have. So we've got the uh, full comp lights. That will give us lights to front gull wing, other side gull wing. We've got mast lights. They can be turned on and off individually like so we also have lights over here on the kitchen slide there. have this handy little kids bench here for breakfast or what have you um, yeah. that's a little mod I've done just for when you drain the sink and the little bench is still under there Stops a little flood like we used to have happening and we forget to pull the bench out so now you can just drain through that bench. Um, I've got more lighting up here that's controlled by the inside can be just plugged in on your DC outlets there and you can turn that off from inside the camper when you go to bed. This is the quick awning as you can see we have the front and rear walls on we can infill here we've got the canvas to do that plus to fully canvas through there down the side and all under the other side out there which will completely enclose this area um, it does have the option of removing these poles folding these corners in and just having no poles, no canvas, and just having a roof over the top, so makes it nice and free and open for walking around out here. Um, so we've got dual water tanks too. We've got 120 at the back, and I think it's like a 70 litre at the front. Uh, inside, we have the main bed. We've got mast lights up there. One of the options. Um, under bed storage, we have 210 10 amp hours of battery. There's the BM Pro battery monitor up there. We have our 600 watt um, inverter here. Pure wave inverter, sin wave inverter. We've got a hot water or the heater for the, the tent. It runs through the diesel hot water system, so it's a little heat exchanger um, that yeah, gives you intense heating when the hot water system's on. You can turn that on any time of the night if you want to turn that on and it will just heat the tent, which is nice. Uh, we have our 40 watt three stage battery charger up here. We have our solar regulator down here. Um, and a little control panel down there. I think Shay's already shown you that. Some power outlets. Um, yeah. We also have the hard floor, obviously down here, and a kids' room on the end. Got a double bunk. That single 
bed can fit down there, but the kids have been playing Lego. <laughs> down there. Have another door over here that goes out to the ensuite uh, when that's attached. That attaches up on that seam on the outside and this seam so you can see the size of that ensuite. Alright, we'll go outside. in front of the trailer. So I have a little tap outlet here. It comes off the front water tank if you need water out here. Front going, jerry cans. This is a generator shelf here. Obviously we haven't got the generator so we're using it for kids homeschool stuff. <laughs> Um, two gas bottles, 4.5 kilos gas bottles. In here, so another going to keep a bit of canvas. This is your diesel for your hot water system. It's the glycol tank that heats the hot water, plus does the tent heating. In here, there's the hot water heat exchanger. You got all your water pump and everything in there. A little bit of storage for bits and pieces. This is your outlet for your ensuite. Got a um, hot, uh, water regulator too for when you're plugged into mains. So this is where all where the window as well. Um, tropical roof. Uh, it has an exhaust fan up in here as well for uh, just uh, helping with the airflow through your tent and the canvas. This is where the ensuite goes on, and there's the kids' room down there. Um, what else did we have in here? Oh, here we have a yep, portable toilet that goes in there. That will sit there. Um, that's in the camper at the moment. Oh, we got there. Upgraded suspension. So it's got the Fox shocks. You'll see those around in the back. They should be related to this like two ton load capacity of this trailer. Um, spare wheel under there. There's your main water tank. And the secondary water tank is yeah, up there. Sorry for the shaky video. Um, what else do we have to tell you guys? I think that would be about it. Oh, it's got the extended drawbar which gives you a bit more room when you're turning or on the back of a Prado, something like that. You can open the rear door easily. Um, yeah, that is about it.